So in this video, we're going to be setting up a argon tank. And the things that we're going to be needing is an argon regulator and a large wrench. I have a 12 inch wrench here. So as I spin this tank around, we'll see that the cap covering the valve stem has a little hole. I can use the end of my wrench, if this is a little tight and you can't screw it off by hand, to loosen it up to get that necessary leverage. Then we can just twist this off. Once this is fully twisted off, it'll expose the valve stem. And then we can also see where we're going to be putting our argon regulator. So in this example, we're going to be using a AGR 2.1. And there's two models on this, the AGR standard. And then we have a laser model that accepts the eight millimeter hosing. So as you can see, this threaded bit moves freely and we can fit it into that receptacle in the argon tank, and then we can just thread that on by hand. And we'll just have to move it around just enough so we can get those threaded started. And then we can just keep on threading it on as far as we can by hand until we need to incorporate our wrench. So we're gonna get that wrench opened up, get it wide enough, and we're just gonna do a quarter turn right here. Nice and snug. The goal is to have it tight enough so there's zero leaking between these two parts. In order to get this regulator pressurized, we need to install the clear hose that came with your welder. I'm gonna spin this around so we have a better viewpoint. So this is a push to connect. So we just push it in and there's some teeth that's gonna keep it in there. So some tugging and you'll notice that there's some movement around the opening of the argon regulator. That's totally normal. If we want to remove that, we're gonna remove it by pushing that, that piece that was moving towards the body of the regulator and then pulling out that hose. So we can just push it in, pull it out in that manner. Now it's time to get this regulator prepared. So I like spinning it off uh, a few times, but sometimes we might go a little too far and it will come off. This is not a big deal. We can just simply thread it back on And to start out, we can just have it spun just a few times. Now we'll see on this right gauge that it pressurized. Now max pressure is 2000 PSI. On this left gauge, it's going to explain how much is leaving the tank. And our goal is to set it to seven liters per minute. So we're gonna spin it clockwise until we start seeing pressure show up on the needle. And it may be a few turns, especially if we twisted that off completely, but we're gonna take our time being nice and slow. We'll start feeling a little bit of resistance and then we'll start seeing that needle creep up. Now that seven mark is the second hash mark after that five. So we do wanna take our time. And once it's set, we can just leave it there. At the end of the day, we just tighten up that valve stem at the tank, and we can leave that argon regulator alone. So in the morning, we can open it up. At night, we close it, close it up. And any excess pressure we see in the line, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to drain it or anything. So what happens if we overpressurize it and it goes too far? So this is the way that we've got to do it. So in order to get started, we need to reduce the pressure that would be leaving by counterclockwise turning that black knob on the regulator. And then we need to discharge the, the excess pressure in the line. And that's why that gauge doesn't go down when we are uh, turning that knob. It's always going to be measuring what's left in that hose. So if we go to our machine, we can push that white collar towards the body of the machine. And you can see I, I'm, I'm struggling here. So if I do on the top and bottom, we'll see that it easily detaches. And then we can reinstall that. And we'll see that now that the 
the pressure gauge is reading zero again, then we can slowly creep up that gauge till it hits seven. Now, once that needle starts going down on the right gauge, that'll show that our tank is getting lower and lower in pressure. So once it reaches the last hash mark, you can start ordering your argon, and that way you can take advantage of the full volume of your tank. So when we're ready to take the regulator off, we're going to tighten up the valve stem, and then we're going to get our wrench out, and then we're going to put that on, and we're going to just, I like just to lightly hit it with my hand. And you'll hear a loud hiss if there's some pressure left in the regulator. And that's just the air escaping through the regulator and the tank. And that's totally normal. So now we can hand thread that off. Get our new tank, put it in place and thread it on as we did before. The nice thing is we haven't touched that black knob at all on our regulator, so we don't need to reset our regulator when we get a new tank. And now you're ready to weld as you were before. Please let us know. We're happy to help answer any questions that you may have in your setup for your argon regulator or tank.